Hey everyone, my name is Vea and I'm here planning my own magic into my everyday life. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be a March plan with me, my monthly plan with me and setup in my Erin Condren soft bound planner. I'm going to be setting up all of my pages starting from the end of February. So my notes page before the month of March, my month at a glance, and my dashboard pages. To keep things simple, I like to use the Erin Condren monthly stickers as like my theme and my guide for decor. So I like to rip out the pages from the sticker book. This is the Erin Condren designer stick book monthly, sorry. This is the Erin Condren designer sticker book um, monthly collection. This is edition eight. And so I've always gotten the monthly sticker books and I've kind of just kept my leftovers in my stash. And so I've pulled those as well, whatever I've had left over in my stash. I've also pulled some colored stickers, like I could use these some of these labels. Um, this is in my binder. And I've pulled my um, script stickers that I made in Cricut Design Space for days of the week and stuff. I just don't know which ones I wanna use just yet. And just some other options of things I might need in my monthly planning. Okay, so first and foremost, I always like to white out this page. My process is pretty much identical every month. Um, I've gotten to a place where I really, really enjoy the things that I've been using to set up. So if you are a returning subscriber, first of all, thank you. Um, and also you're going to see me do the same thing that I've done for my monthly plans pretty much um, for a while now. Like even when I wasn't posting consistent monthly plan with me's, you can tell that my process has been about the same since I think the beginning of last year. If you are a new viewer and potential subscriber, welcome. I really hope that you enjoy what you see. And if you are looking for planning, lifestyle and organization, inspiration and motivation, I would love it if you would join my YouTube family. And I'm about to white out the numbers because in, um, or the dates and the days of the week, because in Air Content Planner, the monthly spreads are set up from sunday to saturday but the weekly spreads just like most planners are set up monday to sunday and i like those two to match i'm going to get this part out of the way i am going to start with my notes page but i'm going to get the whiting out part out of the way and i'll try to stop in and explain different steps but typically these are sped up plan with me's because they take so long and i don't want you sitting here for a two hour video i wouldn't want to sit through a two hour video that's just not my preference so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right in Okay, so similar to last month, I did my home projects like dashboard page. Um, I always do our monthly maintenance. This is where I write down things that we do every month. Um, mostly me and my wife together, but sometimes we have our son get in on the chores, like monthly cleaning maintenance things, like changing filters. We rotate that in and out. Um, sometimes it's like deep cleaning the car. Um, sometimes it's clearing the drains. Just stuff like that goes on this list. And I usually just refer back to the previous month and see what we did last, see what needs to be switched in and out and stuff like that. And then I didn't get to any of my major projects last month. Um, it was a 
pretty busy month for us so my projects for this month are going to be the same i'm doing like a mom cave reset and i also have stuff in our garage that i want to get organized and set up before it starts to get too hot out here in vegas um for me to be in my garage i want to get that finished and then i just have a section for miscellaneous projects um random little things that i'm doing around the house um, that don't take up maybe a whole weekend like these other projects will so that's what this page is used for the notes page before my month and now I'm gonna go into planning out my month All right, so my monthly is done. I'm irritated about this smudging. Um, the marker smudged over my whiteout in some spots, but whatever, moving on. So I just went ahead and laid down stickers for everything we have coming up, appointments, um, you know, picture day, things like that. And then a little tip that I use, please forgive my vacuum in the background, but a little tip that I use um, if you're trying to like figure out how to incorporate stickers is always to use like, square stickers for more rigid set things like appointments um unmovable things like that um task chores and then um events that are more like fun or whatever the case may be you can use more round stickers or stickers with like little pretty elements in them so like this is for a party this is for a birthday party for our son this is our son's picture day um, and this is our monthly like reset. It's more like a goal. It's not a very rigid thing. So I, I like to go ahead and put those types of things in different categories of stickers. It's a little difficult for me with this whole color scheme. You saw I took out those green stickers here that just didn't feel like they were flowing. I left this one because it still has a little bit of this like pale blue, very little though, and it still looks like it doesn't match to me, but whatever. Um, I was kind of frustrated with these stickers because they're all like St. Patrick's Day themed and you know I think that I wish they were a little bit more spring themed. Anyway I'm going to move on to my dashboard now and I'll come back and check in after this one. Alright, so I have my dashboard set up. I switched colors. I wish I would have done these two, like this mint green and this green in my monthly story because I do think I like it better. I think that would have brought these colors together a little bit more, but that's okay. And I think I'm going to use some of these little leftover dots I have for my chore section. Um, I'm going to have to mix them up. I have... This is the leftover page I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna mix it up and add some dots like this instead of using my um, zig 
a clean color dot instead of using this to make my checklist. And I think for this one, I'm gonna do these squares because I like to put the day of the week in them. Let me see, I might be able to do like kind of an ombre thing. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course there are only six instead of seven, but that's okay. And as far as my memories page goes, I always like to add my decorative stickers so that I don't kind of forget them, I guess. Like, so I don't use them anywhere else, so I don't forget them. And if I need to move the stickers around, I just use my undo when it comes time for me to memory plan. So I think that's everything. I'm going to set it for before the pin. Yep. All right, so that is it. I'll do a quick flip through so I know it was sped up. So these are the projects that I transferred over. I did finish some of my smaller projects from last month. I had um, my bathroom cabinet, we did that, and I did update my vanity. So I was able to check those off and I just moved over the rest of them. And I'll just check those off as I go. And then of course, I just finished my monthly planning. And so the next thing to do is um, my budget and the check-in. Me and my wife sit down and do those two together after I do the monthly plan, because it kind of just uh, is like a domino effect. Once I know our plans for the month, we can do everything else. And then here's my monthly. And then my son and I will sit down and do like a spring um like bucket list type thing for this month since the weather's gonna start to turn i have no idea you guys what this um sticker was for i don't know why i put it down i don't remember what it was for i don't know if i put it on the wrong day or what and i completely forgot to fill in this rainbow sticker um this was carter's birthday party um that we got invited to and then I'm just going to put this month. I'm getting to the point where I wish, well, I probably will do it. I'm going to make stickers for every single thing that I would have to write instead because I cannot stand my handwriting. Okay, so these are our um, appointments and events. And then this is my dashboard. And I forgot to put daily chore for daily chores weekly Ugh. chores and then um, when I get to work this week I'm going to look at all of our upcoming important dates and add those I have my work planner but I leave it at work so I'm going to use that and cross reference it with this to fill these in like I said I'll leave this blank until I do my memory planning at the end of the month I meant to skip a line here and completely forgot but that's okay and then I will Fill this in as I go as well. Um, it is March, so I'll just write this in here. I was gonna do the loving box, but I decided not to. I like it better when there's three because I don't have to make them so narrow. Um, but yeah, and I just added these little stickers from the Cricut Design Space images. And that's my monthly plan. So now the last thing I do when I sit down to plan monthly as far as in this planner is I go ahead and grab my sticky notes and I use my monthly, my monthly at a glance to pre-plan all of my weeks. I got that tip from Laura, from Plan With Laura. So I'll go through each week and write down what's going on and add the stickers into my weekly spreads. And then I can start to figure out which kits I wanna use for these weeks. So I hope you all found this monthly plan with me inspirational and again if you're new here I hope you consider subscribing after seeing 
how I sit down and plan. And I would love it if you would give me a follow over on Instagram and or TikTok or Facebook um, to see how some of these plans come to life. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.